Okay, Google. Turn on PC. Please. Okay, Google, set temperature to 75. Okay, Google, turn on living room. Okay, turning three things on. Google Home is probably the best way to set up your home automation over Amazon's popular Amazon Echo as it allows you to easily control every appliance in your home with voice. What's good with Google Home is that the voice control also works with any Android smartphone running Google Assistant. One of the biggest problems with Amazon Echo is that you can only use Amazon Echo itself for voice control. This means that if you live in the house and you're in a room far away from Amazon Echo or perhaps you want to control your lights from anywhere else in the world, you won't be able to do it. Amazon Echo does ship with a wireless remote that you can use in another room, but I feel it is a pain to use as you can easily lose your remote and it's another device you have to carry with you. On top of that, the remote does not work outside the house. Instead, I prefer Google Home, mostly because I can use my Android smartphones to control my home, plus the ability to voice control my whole house away from home. Turn on office. Or lights on. Hi guys, this is Max from HighOnAndroid.com, where we get <sighs> on Android every day. Anyway, I posted a bunch of videos on Twitter last week. I had a video about me turning on my office lights. I got actually a total of like six of them. And I also showed you how I could control my PC. I could remotely turn it on from anywhere in the world. Recently, I've been traveling a lot. Sometimes the internet is slow. Sometimes I gotta download large files and then upload them um, to my servers. Now, when I need to do that, I can remotely connect to my computer using Chrome Remote App and get the work done. And then also be able to turn off my PC because my PC uses a ton of power. Uh, I've got a GTX 1080X and Intel 5960X. So I don't want to leave that stuff on. Um, so Google Home makes it very, very easy. And there's actually one gadget that I use to do all of this. And it's really simple. It's called the Belkin Wemo. I really dig this product because you can plug in anything that has an AC adapter. You can turn it on, turn it off. You can also manually control the light. Uh, for some reason, your Wi-Fi is broken. Uh, internet goes down. And you can see here that it accepts up to 15 amps. Right? That's a ton of power. You can power your computer, um, you can power your heater. That's pretty much the same rating as a fuse in your house. All right, so anything 120 volts, you can control it with the Belkin Wemo. Now, for those of you living outside the US, um, I'm not sure if they sell 220 volt version of it, such as Europe or Korea or you know Thailand. I know they use 220 volts, so that could be a problem. But for those of you living in US or any countries using 115 to 120 volts, I mean, you can make use of this. Now this is $29.95 on Amazon and I really like it. I actually bought this three or four years ago. Um, that was to control all my uh, cryptocurrency miners. Um, so I actually bought like 20 of these and I have these laying around. This thing has been around forever. It was actually on the market way before Alexa. Uh, Amazon Echo and Google Home. Now after Amazon Echo came out, this became compatible. This is one of the first devices to become compatible with Amazon Echo, also with Google Home. It recently, like a few weeks ago, became compatible, fully compatible with Google Home. So I do highly recommend it because a lot of times you will have like multiple light bulbs. Now you can use smart bulbs and smart hub, but the problem is that you'll have to buy a bunch of bulbs um, and also you'll need to buy the hub. With this one, if you have like chandelier, let's say with 30 lights, rather than buying smart bulbs for them, you can go ahead and just plug it in here, or they also have the in-wall switch that you can control easily with Google Home. Now with that said, there are situations where smart bulbs may work out, you know, more cost efficient. Also, you can do additional features like dim it, change colors if you're using RGB light bulbs. But if you wanna make it simple, um, you wanna just be able to control all your AC home appliances, I would totally go with the Belkin Wemo. Again, this is $29.95 on Amazon. There's a lot of similar products on Amazon now, 
But I'm telling you, this is the original, the Belkin Wemo. It's been around forever and highly recommend it. Now that you know how the Wemo works, let me show you how easy it is to actually connect it uh, to your Google Home. So I'm gonna actually walk you through how I set it up, literally. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and obviously connect it here. Now you can also reset these Wemos. Let's say you move to a new location, go ahead and hold it down until this flashes, all right? Go ahead and go to your Wi-Fi. After a few minutes, you'll see a new switch, all right? These are the ones that have not been set. I'm gonna simply go ahead and connect. It's an open Wi-Fi, simply connect. All right, after that, make sure um, you go here and if it asks you this net network has no internet access, stay connected, say yes. And then go ahead and open up the Wemo app. If you haven't installed this, you should have actually installed it before trying to connect it to the Wemo. And it will automatically start setting it up for you. All right, you don't need to know anything about your router. Uh, it will set it up automatically so you can remotely control it, right? It's controlled, now it's remotely controlled. I'm gonna go ahead and name it uh, Test Light. All right, next. All right, next, um, go ahead and select the network you want the Wiimote to connect. All right, now it will remotely set it up so you can access your Wemo switch from anywhere in the world. All right, once completely set up, you will notice uh, that the test light has been added, right, which is right here. And if I turn this on, it will turn on. If I turn this off, it will turn off. Now you can control any AC enable device such as my test light here and it is on now you guys can it's it's on i can go ahead and control it easily all right once this is in the wemo app it's really easy to connect it to google home let me go ahead and show you so go ahead go into your google home and next you're going to go into home control under the menus and you should be able to now see it the first time you do it um it may search for him but after that, when you add it, it will automatically get added. So it's a test light. So now I can do turn off test light. Sure, turning the test light off. Turn on test light. Sure, turning the test light on. All right, sometimes there's slight delay, like a few seconds, but it's not a huge deal. And as you can see, we set up a new device in less than five minutes, all right? So you can go ahead and keep adding. And also let me go ahead and show you what's really cool. Now, if you have multiple devices, for example, in this room, I've got actually four studio lights. So you can go ahead and set up your own lights. So I set up a room called office and I've added all of these uh, studio lights. So whenever I do turn off office, you got all right, it, it turns off all off. the lights in my office. Turn on office. You got four lights on. All right, so really great way to automate your home. And now, so long as I have an Android phone using my Google account, I can control my PC, my lights, my thermostats, pretty much anything you connect the Wemo with. So pretty cool stuff. Now there's additional functionality within the Wemo app that you may be interested, in, which is another reason to get over smart bulbs. All right, for example, I can go ahead and set up rules. I actually have a bunch of rules. For example, I have timers set for all my hardware tool batteries. You know, those things take up a ton of energy. So I only want them on like two or three hours per day. That's the charge I need. So I have them coming on at 2 p.m. Uh, for like a few hours. You can do that. Uh, you could schedule, you could set up auto off timer. For example, once I turn on uh, the test light, I can have this automatically turn off after two hours that's what it's set for right now let's say you're charging your phone and you know once you charge it you don't really need to leave it on after a few hours when it's fully charged otherwise it's sort of waste of energy um, if you want to save battery you can set timers for these so automatically whenever you turn the light on it will use the timer uh, or also when you leave your house on vacation um, you can actually have them come on at certain times uh, all with the Wemo app. All right, another good thing is that I can also control my studio lights here individually. So let me go ahead and show you that real quick. Turn off studio light one. Okay, turning studio light one off. Turn off studio light two. You got it, turning studio light two off. Turn off studio light three. Okay, turning studio light three off. Turn off studio light four. Okay, turning studio light four off. 
turn on Office. Or lights on. All right, so Google Home allows you to really dial in uh, whether you want to turn on a bunch of lights, just a few set of lights, just one light. It's all really up to you. Now, if you want to get one of these, definitely hit up the link in the description, only $29.99. Now, there's a lot of things going on with FBI using your TVs to spy. If you get one of these and control your whole TV's electrical currents and power using the Wemo, um, they can't spy on you since your TV has no power going to it. Another way to sort of secure your house against the CIA, FBI. Anyway, have a great day, folks. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. I'll have more stuff coming. I do also have a Samsung Smart Hub and a bunch of uh, smart bulbs I've been, you know, messing with. But again, I find them not great for my situations. A lot of my lights have more than one light bulb. And I don't really need individual dimming most of the time. So that's why I got the Wemo. But I'll try to make a video on it after use it for a little bit longer. Have a great day, folks. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Instagram, Periscope. And as always, stay <laughs> on Android. Do you guys like horses? Okay, Google. Bark. Here's a dog sound. Click here to subscribe.